What's going on guys? My name is Embrace the Pace and NBA 2K17 is almost here. The game drops tonight at midnight. I'm going to be going to pick it up. I'm super excited for it. Super pumped to get started on the draft classes and I hope you guys are excited for it as well. I wanted to make this video though today just to give you guys kind of a plan and layout on what I'll be doing for NBA 2K17 as far as um, you know my projects on the game such as my draft classes and rosters and also with my YouTube channel because things are going to be changing on the YouTube channel a little bit and I'll get into that in a second um, but the draft classes will stay consistent and I'm really excited to share some details with you guys so we'll start off with that because I know most of you guys are probably going to be most interested in the draft class so what can you expect I will be doing a 2017 draft class and a 2018 draft class. I can't commit to anything more than that because in the past, two draft classes has proved to be a lot of work and uh, I just don't think I could handle that much more than that. So that's what you can expect. Um, and that also is good because if you go more than two classes, you kind of sacrifice quality as well because it's kind of hard to um, you know, keep all that balanced and you don't have a ton of information on players that far into the future anyway. So. You can expect the 2017 and 2018 class. Uh, as far as the release date goes, you can expect the 2017 class no later than October 25th, which is NBA opening day. That's what I did last year on NBA 2K16, and it was actually kind of tough to finish it by that deadline. A lot of people don't really understand how long it actually takes um, to make these draft classes. I timed it last year. It was taking me like 40 minutes, 45 minutes for one player. And to get one draft class done, you got to do 60 players. So you guys can imagine that is a ton of time to make these draft classes. Um, but I've tried to do my best to kind of streamline the process and prepare as much as I can. And that brings me to my next point. You guys can see on screen right here, I'll post some uh, pictures. I've been preparing so hard for NBA 2K17. This is my spreadsheet that I have right now. And it is insanely in-depth. I have hundreds of players listed into this spreadsheet with their information. So I have all of their, you know, vital information such as college, height, weight, wingspan, uh, position, all that stuff laid out for me. So it's quick and easy. I don't have to click through pages to find the information. It's all right there for me already. And then I also have pictures. So front facing views, profile views, full body views, accessories. Um, highlight tapes everything all of that linked into my spreadsheet already so when I start making my draft class I will be extremely prepared and it should make the process of creating one guy um, a lot faster so I don't know if that will translate into me being able to finish my draft class sooner than expected if I do that I would be willing to release it earlier um, but I can't commit to that right now so expect October 25th for the 2017 class if I do decide to release it earlier if I finish I'll let you guys know about that on Twitter um, You know or I'll make a YouTube video about it or something like that with the 2018 class I don't know about a release date for that. That's a little bit different because um, You know it kind of depends on a lot of things because I haven't been able to get 60 full players in the second class that I do each year uh, right on release at least because it's just a lot harder to do that um, that's a lot of players to create so last year I released the second class around New Year's so you can expect it sometime around there no later than you know early January I would say um, but I'll let you guys know a more concrete release date when I decide on one um, so that's it for the draft classes right there I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything uh, I think that's probably just about all you guys need to know. Uh, oh, one more thing I want to ask you guys to let me know in the comment section. Would you guys like me to release the first draft class with 30 players and then continue adding them? Or do you want me to just release it one time at the beginning with 60 players and then continue adding on from there in 2k15 i released the first draft class with 30 players and then continued adding 2k16 i just the first release had 60 players in it so that's a little bit of a thing i mean some people like it they just like it as soon as possible even if it isn't a full class some people just like it to be a complete class right when it releases i'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about that and uh, i'll decide on that and give you guys more information at a later date as far as the off-season roster that I'll be doing later this year, I am planning on doing that again. Um, obviously, that's so far off, you know, what, eight months down the line, nine months down the line or something. So um, I can't give you guys too much, too many details about that right now. Um, so we'll talk about that at a later date. As far as YouTube goes this year, things are going to switch up a little bit. 
honestly i've tried to um you know do series and stuff in the past and i'd love to just get on the youtube grind um and try to you know grow the channel and put out a ton of videos have a my career series do some my team um have a my league and my gm series because a lot of people have asked me to do that especially the my league and my gm because i know a lot of my subscribers are into that since they're into the draft classes uh but to be 100 percent honest I just can't do it if you guys don't know I am in college so I just don't have the time um, to commit to doing YouTube as much as I want I don't think that would be a great decision obviously college is super super important so that's taking number one priority right now and I don't think it would be in my best long-term interest to put too much focus on YouTube um, so this year on YouTube I really want to just focus on getting a lot of player creation tutorials out. I'll also still have update videos and stuff, but don't expect me to have, you know, um, actual gameplay type videos. That just takes a really, really long time to edit them and produce them and render them and upload them and actually sit down and record the gameplay. Um, surprisingly, I just, I don't really have that much time to actually play the game. That's why I've tried to prepare so much for 2k17 so I could get all this stuff in my spreadsheet to try to make the process of making the draft classes quicker because uh, I really haven't had that much time to just sit down and play like you guys are seeing some prelude gameplay in the background I've actually only played two games of the prelude because I've just been busy um, with school and also preparing for 2k17 and stuff like that so that's what you can expect from me on YouTube or expect from me on YouTube this coming year. Lots of tutorials. I The tutorials don't take me a ton of time to do, so I actually wanna try to get a tutorial out for every single player that I create on NBA 2K17. I think that'll be a lot of fun, and I think that's a good goal to set for myself, especially since I won't be focusing on too much more on YouTube. Um, so, I was looking at the playlist for 2K15 and I had almost 100 creation tutorials and then in 2K16 I had about half that many so I was really slacking a lot on the tutorials this past year. I don't want that to be the case in NBA 2K17 and I'm going to try to get a ton of them out for you guys um, because I know you guys do enjoy them for the most part and I know some people might think you know the tutorials they won't help them a ton but they do help a lot of people especially people on Xbox One um, that can't download my draft class or people that want to use some of these prospects for their my career or anything like that um, so I do want to commit some time to putting out those creation tutorials and like I said I'll still have some updates I'll still have some videos um, but just don't expect any like hardcore YouTube grind series type of things from me because uh, I just can't stay as active as I'd like to but I will stay active on social media all the time that's why I urge you guys to go follow me on there because as much as I want to be active on YouTube um, or extremely active on YouTube I just can't do it as much as I would like to but you know Twitter Instagram all that stuff is always on your phone you always have access and it's really quick so I'll always stay active on there so that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video I hope this gives you guys a little bit of a better understanding of what you can expect for from me in NBA 2k17 as far as the draft classes go and also with my YouTube channel hope you guys did enjoy the video thank you for watching Thank you guys so much for all the support on NBA 2K16. It was so much fun. I had a blast on 2K16 making the draft classes. It was an insane amount of, uh, it was a very successful project this year. Um, I haven't checked the final numbers as 2K17 comes out tonight, but I think the 2016 draft class on 2K16 uh, had over 5 million downloads or right around there. The 2017 class had, um, you know, over a million and the offseason roster just hit like a million, probably right around this time. So I, I really appreciate it a lot. I'm super excited to get started on 2K17 and excited to put out some more draft classes and have another great year. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys later.